All right, welcome back to another video. Super excited to talk about my favorite clothing pieces of all time. I mean, that's a big statement, at least in the current state. Those are my favorite pieces. And uh, we'll look at several brands, several categories. Uh, so let's get going. I was thinking about like, what are my favorite pieces? And some of them are current state, right? Currently, I love those pieces. Uh, there are the parts of my favorite, but then there are other pieces that I know I will keep for a lifetime and they are my all time favorites, right? We'll talk about my favorite Carol piece and that is by far my favorite Carol piece ever. So maybe let's start with that, right? Let's start with that. So this is my, I think this is the best work Carol has ever done. Um, several reasons. The first one is when I first heard like there will be a combat boot from Carol, I thought I've literally seen a hundred million interpretations of the combat boot. Some good, some bad, some in, in between, but it's impossible to have a different take on a combat boot until I saw this bad boy. And honestly, this is Carol's best work in my opinion. In general, like you have a black leather combat boot with high lacing, a thick sole, etc. So there's nothing like on paper, black on white, nothing special. But for me, if you follow this channel long, you know, for me, clothing is all about emotion, what kind of emotion I'm getting out of that piece. And that is something that I'm trying to do with Skinosh the other way around. That's why I call the tagline for Skinosh is objectified emotions, trying to put an emotion into a piece. And as a consumer, from my perspective, I get an emotion out of a piece, right? And this is just the baddest, badass vibes that I've ever seen on any piece of clothing, in my opinion. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite Carol piece. Um, I have done a separate video on those the day I got them. So still heavy rotation. This is the coarse version. So coarse uh, is horse leather in color 10, which is black, has this super thick crab sole underneath and then the stacked heel stacked sole and these washed green laces and you can wear those, those a lot like the crab sole as i said multiple times is the most comfortable and yeah sizing wise this is a size 10 um, i can only wear those without the insole so yeah this is my first piece and probably my favorite of all times all right so that's my Favorite piece number one. And since we're talking about shoes, maybe let's continue with shoes, right? Those were leather boots, obviously. Now let's look at the sneaker side for one minute, right? I think, especially from an avant-garde perspective, it's really difficult to find good sneakers. I have recently bought a couple of black sneakers to blend in more with the avant-garde vibe, but they ha don't have the DNA of an avant-garde piece, right? So as you probably know, I'm a big fan of the Salomon and 11 by Boris Bijan Zaberi, the Bomba 2 in particular. I just love the vibe. So first of all, the front zip, right, that you know from other avant-garde shoes, for example, uh, Guidi front zips. And then you have the comfort and technical ability from Salomon coming in, but then you still have those mad, mad artisanal vibes with the hand dyeing. Right, and that to me is just a perfect crossover. It's a comfortable shoe, it's lightweight, but it still has those avant-garde vibes. I brought the black dye, I think it's called, uh, color with me. As you probably know, I have a couple of different colors. Can't get enough of them. They're just amazing. Um, I have to stop at some point, so I think I have like four or five pairs now. That's enough. Maybe if one amazing color comes, who will know if I can resist. But yeah, I think like this is just Black jeans, black t-shirt, and you have avant-garde vibes, even in summer, because they are quite breathable. Not very good for rain, I have to admit. Um, even the Gore-Tex ones that I've had for many, many years, that was my first uh, pair that I bought back in the days. They're not really water resistant, maybe-ish, but it's, that was kind of disappointing, I have to say. So yeah, they can get a bit hot in summer, um, because you obviously have the overlay and then quite the thick sole here, but still pretty, pretty okay for summer, I would say. So that's my favorite item number two. 
Then maybe let's move on to leather jackets. Um, I think a leather jacket should be in your top 10 favorite clothing pieces. So I have decided to bring this one today, which is the Carol Overlock in beautiful horse leather. Incredible details throughout. This color 19, I've done a video on this as well. I'll give you a bit more details here. So I think a leather jacket is really an essential. I have the color one leather jacket as well. Um, not as versatile, obviously. So if you only want to buy one, I would probably go for either a color 10, which is black or dark gray. 19 is cool as well. So something that you can wear every day. Obviously the color one is a bit special, right? You, you can obviously wear it every day if you want, but to me it should be a more muted color. So yeah, I love this. I haven't worn this too often. Unfortunately, I would love to wear this more often, but somehow the weather transition from winter to summer like this, and in summer it is a bit hot, in winter it's a bit cold. So this is the perfect jacket for like spring and fall, obviously. Beautiful piece, I love this. Absolutely in my, in my favorite uh, pieces of all time. Not necessarily one leather jacket, like specifically this one, but I think like one Carol jacket one Carol leather jacket in general is in my top 10. Now let's move on to the next, uh, since we are talking about jackets, I wanted to bring a deep tea jacket. And again, it's not this particular model that is my favorite, even though it is fucking amazing. But I, as you know, I have a different um, trench coat as well. So this represents deep tea jackets, I would say. Beautiful, I think the tailoring is just incredible. And I was thinking about this piece here. So this is a heavy cotton, right? It has a high neck, but it is a pretty short jacket. And I think in general, if you have a jacket that says, okay, cotton, heavy cotton, uh, pretty short high neck, it could be a pretty lame jacket, but what makes this so amazing is the tailoring, right? First you have the structured shoulders, but it really elevates the jacket. When you see me running around with the jacket, you think, okay, wow, that is tailor-made for him. And that fact is the difference between Deep D and other manufacturers, in my opinion. Obviously you have a lot more pattern making, uh, cool materials, details, all that stuff. But for me, the tailoring is what sets this one apart and not this one only, but all deep tea jackets. So next up, I wanted to bring a different category in and that is blazers from Greg Lauren, which are in my all-time favorite list as well. I am wearing this one, which is the pinstripe, beautiful dark gray with the integrated vest. I've done a video on this as well. Um, but I, th I think in general, like the category Greg Lauren blazers is in my top 10 as well, because he's just so creative, um, especially the older ones, amazing quality and creativity that is rarely seen, in my opinion. So, yeah, I brought this one as an example. Um, as you know, I have a couple of Greg blazers. Most of them are too small, so I have to size up. But yeah, incredible peak lapel, beautiful fabric, and just more special like handmade touches and details uh, that you rarely see on other brands. So we talked about Deep D. I wanted to bring up Deep D in a different category, and that is pants. I brought this one here as an example. As you know, I have many different Deep D pants because I just love how Deep D makes pants. So this is the beautiful wool version here. And a couple of reasons why I like Deep D pants. So one is drop crotch, but a tasteful 
drop crotch, right? There's a fine line. Uh, I'm not, not sure if you remember my Carol drop crotch pants, which are a bit more extreme. But I think like deep D drop crotch is, it is a drop crotch, but it's still, you could wear it to the office and you still have a special touch, but it's not like too in your face. Also with the cropping, right? They have a lot of crop pants. It, they are cropped, but not too much, right? It's such a fine line. And I think deep D really meets that fine line exquisitely. And also with the like leg width, they are for my taste a bit too wide. As you know, I love <laughs> more tighter, tighter jeans, tighter uh, pants as well. But they do wider pants for, from my perspective, right? Obviously they are from a global perspective, they're rather slim, but it's still a fine line that they meet. So yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. And you can get them for good deals as well. So highly recommend deep tea pants. Um, this obviously is a bit more of a winter iteration here because it's quite thick. But yeah, deep tea pants, definitely in my top 10. Now in the category of bags, I obviously have to bring up Skinosh. So I'm wearing a Skinosh bag every day, basically. I'm currently prototyping a new briefcase that I'm doing. I was really thinking about showing it um, because this will re release in a couple of months probably but I, I quickly will show it, right? So this is a Colata briefcase that I'm currently test driving. Beautiful structure every, in every corner. It's this smaller handles. There will be a women's version with like longer handles so you can put them around the shoulders as well. But yeah, just quickly wanted to bring it up. Skinosh bag every day. Women, by the way, will be launching, I guess in September, um, and it, it will be fire. Like I usually don't speak highly of, of my own work, but the women's collection will be crazy, 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 crazy. All right, but moving on. Next up, I have to bring up, obviously, a vest bag from Carol. This is the course version. Absolute top 10 item, in my opinion. Now, since I have moved to the countryside, which has been about a year ago, I would say, um, I rarely wear this one because it's a bit very much in your face. Right? So if you live on a countryside or you are worried uh, that people will look at you, I would recommend buying the fabric version, uh, which I'm actually thinking about currently because it's just more muted. You can wear it on a t-shirt or something. Uh, leather is obviously always a bit hardcore, but still I think the Chorus 10 Leather West Bag is an absolute staple. And if you're a fan of Carol, this is the item to go with. Now, obviously many different leather options, many different color options, but this is the classic, right? Course 10, same with the leather jacket, same with shoes, like this is the standard, but probably the first I would get and then pick other colors. Yeah, so Westpac, definitely in the top 10. Now, we have been talking about Carol uh, quite a bit in the top 10 list, as you can see. My top 10 mainly consists of Carol stuff, um, but I wanted to bring up a blazer or blazers in general from Carol. This is the only one I have, so I'm showing this. If you remember, I broke the seams here underneath the arms, fixed them, and they have been holding up quite well, so pretty happy. I love this thing to death. I, I brought this to Paris and honestly, Speaking of emotions again, right? I'm wearing this and I'm feeling like a badass who sh should be protected from the rain. Obviously, this fabric is not, it looks like it's water resistant, but it's not. But still, it's super lightweight. It's very long and slim, which makes like my silhouette as I like it. And yeah, what, wanted to bring up Carol blazers. Same as Deep D, beautiful construction. They feel tailored, they look tailored. So yeah. Carol Blazers, top 10. Now, I wanted to bring up an honorable mention, or actually not honorable mention, like it belongs in my top 10, but I don't have an item here, so I can't uh, show you and that is a blazer from Elena Dawson. I love Elena Dawson blazers 
they fit a bit oversized, so I am a size medium. By the way, if anybody has a size medium Elena Dawson blazer for sale, please hit me up. I uh, would be highly interested. I have had many Elena Dawson blazers over the years. I have sold them all and I regret it so much. And they are so difficult to find these days. I don't know why. Back in the days, like a couple of years ago, maybe like five years ago or so, you could find them on Grail, eBay, etc. But now it has gotten more difficult and the prices have gone up secondhand as well, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I have to put them in there. Elena Dawson blazer, highly, highly appreciated from my side. Um, obviously, Paul Harden as well. Just wanted to, to mention those. And my last piece of my favorite clothing, which I wanted to show is, I'm sorry if you don't like Carol, Carol again, but it is, again, not this shoe specifically for me, yes, but I think a low top derby from Carol uh, is a must in, in a collection because you can wear them in summer, you can wear them with shorts even, um, but then obviously throughout the whole year. And yeah, this is my Officer Derby pair, which quick update, I've worn them almost every day uh, over the past week since I got them. They fit perfect and they're so comfortable. And by the way, I wanted to show you, right? I, I told you in, in the video that I bought half insoles. And so this is what they look like. And you just put them in the, on the heel, basically. So your foot is a bit higher in the footbed. Um, but you still have enough room. So, this was a fun one. Uh, let me know what you think about my favorites. Obviously very Carol heavy. And when I did this video, like when I thought about the video, I thought, okay, let's put a variety of brands in there. But then I thought, really, okay, top 10 or favorites. And then it became pretty Carol heavy. I apologize for that, uh, but it's just facts, right? It's Carol is top notch, like you can't improve, you can just go left or right, and then probably down. But yeah, that's been it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video. Now let me know down in the comments which are your favorite pieces. Um, would be quite interesting, like over a whole lifetime basically, you've probably had um, interest in fashion for a couple of years. So would be interesting to see like what your favorite pieces are, if they are as Carol heavy as mine or not. Uh, let me also know what you think about my favorites. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.